Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new Photoshop tutorial and this one is going to be how to create a planet in outer space. Now for this tutorial, we're actually just going to be doing the planet. I have created the background. I just um, I drew this, this star background and uh, I grew this, this giant star right here. So all of that's already been made. So it's not a tutorial on how to create those, but I do want to show you how to make a planet. Um, so we're just going to put a planet right on this background and I'll show you how to do that. You will need one image at least. You'll need um, this picture right here, this picture of some rusty metal and a uh, very interesting texture. It's on our website, christianphotoshops.com and just click on the free stock images button at the bottom and you can download that picture and hundreds of other pictures to practice with. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is uh, let me get rid of that star layer because the planet's going right here. We're going to make a new layer, call it planet, and I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to draw a circle. And we're just going to draw a circle right in the center of the, the whole picture and that's going to be our planet. So about right there looks fine. And I'm going to fill that with a dark gray. So not quite black, but pretty dark. Fill that to gray. That looks good. So this is our planet. And uh, we're going to be doing all of the textures and atmosphere and glow on this circle right here. So the first thing I want to do is add a um, texture to it. So let's go ahead and grab this rusty texture and let's bring it right inside of Photoshop. And uh, you want to, you can resize it however you want to, but just make sure it's large enough to fit the circle inside of it. And it's going to go right on top of the circle. About right there is, is fine. And what you want to do is, uh, we can rename it the texture first, but what you want to do is make sure you're selected on the texture layer and then control click your planet. So what that does is it creates um, a marquee around the circle shape, but you're on the texture layer. And while you're on the texture layer, go to filter, go to distort and click on spherize. And it'll default at 100% and that's great. So go click OK. And what it does is it turns that two-dimensional flat picture into kind of a sphere shape, and that looks great, but let's do it one more time. So you just go to Filter and Spherize. So we're going to do it twice, and that looks great. So the edges are nice and curved, and the center is nice and bulged, and so it looks like a nice sphere we have going on here. Um, since you have all this extra stuff on the outside, we don't need that, so just hit your Layer Mask button, and um, you can um, apply that layer mask and now we just have a circle the size of our planet. So control alt G to your planet so we have it clipped to the planet and I would like to change that to soft light. So change your texture um, layer to soft light and then we'll bring that down just a little bit maybe like 60 or 70 percent. You just want very subtle um, elements of that that texture for now. Okay so that looks great. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, a little bit of um, glow to the image. So what I want to do is create a new layer on top of that one. We can call this just glow if you want to. Uh, make sure it's clipped. And I want to get like a bluish color here, just a, a nice dull blue. And we're going to change that blend mode to screen. And I'm just going to lightly paint nice rim color right here on the, the left side of the planet. So just a nice little rim around the rim right there. It's kind of smaller at the top where the, the poles would be and then kind of wider at the where the equator would be. Okay, a little bit, that looks fine. And then on the right side, I'm going to do, instead of a blue, I'm going to do more of a, a yellowish or, or orange color. And same thing, just kind of paint very gently right on the edge of the circle and that looks fine. Okay, it's way too bright. Make sure your um, opacity is down. We'll go down just to about 40% or so and I'm going to create a layer mask in there and I'm just going to kind of make sure the center of the planet is nice and dark. So right in there needs to be nice and dark. Okay. So there's our little glows we have on the edges, and that looks great. Okay, now let's work on our atmosphere. So create a brand new layer on top of everything, call it atmosphere. Atmosphere. 
And what we want to do is control click your planet. So we have that circle going here and um, we want to fill this circle with a nice blue. So something like that. That blue looks fine. Now what we want to do is we want to blur that. So take your Gaussian blur filter and we want to make this circle we just painted nice, nice and blurry and soft on the edges. So some somewhere between 70 and 100, wherever you think is, is appropriate. Click OK. And now we don't want the atmosphere nice and bright in the center of the picture. We want to delete um, that circle. So just control click your planet again and then hit your layer mask and then just invert that layer mask. So there you go. So we painted black, essentially. We painted black on that circle. So now the atmosphere is only showing on the outside of the planet. All right, that looks great. All right, next thing I want to do, and let's, let's make the atmosphere just a little bit less bright, maybe like 50, 60%. Okay, next thing I want to do is make a new layer, but put it inside of a group. The group can be called, um, we'll call it um, Amplified Glows. Amplified Glows. And then um, change that blend mode to Color Dodge. And then what you want to do is just very lightly just paint on the edge of the planet, the rim. So where the rim and the atmosphere are touching each other. So just paint very gently right there. Just like that. That's, that looks good, a little bright, but it looks good. And then same thing on the right side, just do a nice orange, yellowish orange color and just paint very softly on the rim of the planet where the rim and that um, the atmosphere touch each other. So just like that, that looks good. Way too bright, obviously. So what I wanna do first of all is create a layer mask and just kind of make sure that the center of the planet is, is dark. Like that and then we'll bring down our um, opacity just a little bit too just a little bit too bright like right there okay that looks good let's keep going all right next thing I want to do is add a little bit more of a, a texture to the image so what I'm going to do is um, See this texture layer we created earlier? I'm just gonna copy and paste that one. Put this one way up here. And I'm gonna change it to black and white. So just do Control Shift U and that takes all of the color out. I'm gonna change it to soft light like that. And I'm going to bring the opacity down just a little bit, maybe like that. And then I'm going to duplicate the layer and change it to multiply. And let's see, that's 100% multiplied, that's too dark. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go down to about um, 30 to 40%, whatever you think looks fine. Um, but I don't want the edges multiplied. So make a layer mask and just kind of paint black right here on the edge. Just like that, I think that looks good. All right, next step we're gonna do, create a layer on top of everything else, and um, we'll just call this one Shadow. What I want to do is I wanna make sure this planet looks like the background. So I'm going to just sample some of this color, the space, it's a dark purple, and I'm going to paint in that purple color all over the planet, just like that. Okay almost trying to make the planet invisible is kind of what I'm going for. Then control click your planet circle and take your layer mask out and make sure you erase the edges here because the edges are going to be nice and bright but the center of the planet is going to be a little dark and then just bring that opacity down a little bit. So there you go. That shadow looks, it's not quite as harsh. So like that. Maybe even down a little bit more. Okay, next step. All right, for the next step, what I want to do is I want to just create some colorful um, 
hues going on everywhere. So I'm just going to um, call this layer colors. What I want to do is just take some random colors here. Uh, we'll do. We'll start with blue. Blue is a good color to start with. Make sure your flow is down really low. And uh, what we're going to do is change this to overlay. And we're just going to paint some blue over here on the left side of the picture. And then maybe have some green up here in the top left. And then we could have some, some orange over here on the top right. And then maybe even some, some purple down here on the bottom right. And uh, we could even put maybe like some red or pink or something right, right up here. Um, there's, there's no rules to this. I'm just adding a lot of uh, interesting colors here. And that looks good. And last step we want to do is create a, um, a new glow layer. So this will be Amplify Glows 2. So we can just call it Amp 2. Change your blend mode to Color Dodge. And then just do white this time. And you want to paint white very carefully, again, where the where the, the planet meets that atmosphere. We want it to be nice and bright. So right in here, you can make your brush bigger if you want to. Just make sure you don't overdo it. Okay, that looks good. Bring it down just a little bit. And then also your colors layer, the overlay layer we just did a minute ago, that's a little bit too bright too. So bring that down just a little bit. Okay, and I think that's it. Let's go ahead and add that star layer that I already had created before we started. Let's create that on top of it. And there we go. We have a planet added to the space scene using one texture. So using this rusty metal texture, we were able to create this planet pretty easily. Let me go ahead and go step by step with what we just did. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to make all of these layers invisible. So there's what we started with. And then we drew a circle. We added a texture. We um, added some glows, added some more atmosphere, added some deeper glows, added some more texture. Then we kind of doled out the shadow a little bit, added some more color, and then we amplified the glows at the very end. So there is our planet from start to finish. We did it in about 10 minutes or so, and uh, that's how you would make one. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you're able now to go out and make your own planet in deep space. They're a lot of fun to make. Um, I have a great time making them. If you make your own, please share it with me. I'd love to see it. So just shoot me an email or message me on Facebook. I'd love to see what you come up with. But uh, thanks again for taking the time um, out of your busy day and watching this tutorial. And we got many more tutorials coming up. So just check back soon for updates. And uh, we'll catch you then. Thanks, guys.